In today's video, we're going to be talking about X-linked pedigrees. This is a very challenging topic in genetics that a lot of medical students struggle with, so I'm gonna give you my system for identifying pedigrees. Now, if you're watching this video and you're like, what the hell is a pedigree? Well, I guess we should start there. So this is what a pedigree is, right? It's the flow diagram, if you will, that visually depicts how certain traits or things are inherited. And a lot of times on your exams, you might see a practice question that looks basically like this. They'll give you the pedigree and they'll expect you to look at the visual representation of the genetics and infer based on that visual representation what the pattern of inheritance is. So you'll have to choose between, you know, like X-linked dominant, X-linked recessive, autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive, or mitochondrial inheritance. And for people that have never taken some time to learn how these pedigrees work, this is a really challenging topic. So in this video, I'm going to give you my system for specifically the X-linked pedigree. So we're talking about X-linked dominant and X-linked recessive. Now, before we get into my system, I guess we need to start with how pedigrees work. And if you already know this, this will be just a very rapid review, but just in case you're starting from square one, this is how things work. So squares represent male and circles represent female. And whether or not the square or the circle is colored in tells you whether or not they are affected. So for example, the square that is colored in black is an affected male but a circle that is not colored in and appears white is a non-affected female. So if it's colored in, it's affected. If it's not colored in, it's not affected. Squares are males and circles are females. So there's two examples that we're gonna do in this video. Here's the first example. If you see this pedigree, the question is, what is the mode of inheritance? So this is example one. And then we're gonna do a second example. Here's example two, where if you see this pedigree, what is the mode of inheritance? Now, when it comes to X-linked inheritance, there are two rules in my system that you should memorize. And if you understand these rules, you'll get every single pedigree question right for X-linked dominant and X-linked recessive. So first, I'm gonna tell you the two rules and then I'll prove to you that those rules work. And then we'll come back to these examples at the end and illustrate how easy it is to get these questions right if you use my method. So rule number one says that in X-linked dominant inheritance, affected daughters get the disease from affected fathers. So I'm going to prove to you that this rule works. So let's look at all of the cases where an affected father uh, will transmit X-linked dominant disease. So here's our three options. And affected fathers are shown in orange. And as we fill uh, these Punnett squares in, I'll show you the affected daughters in red. So when it comes to an X-linked dominant affected father, there are three options for different genetic makeups of females that the affected father can uh, basically breed with. So I'm gonna show you these three Punnett squares and we'll fill these in one at a time. So in the first Punnett square, what you see is that an X-linked dominant affected father will have two daughters. And because this is X-linked dominant, both of his daughters are affected. In the second Punnett square, you see that the X-linked dominant affected father will have two daughters and both of his daughters will be affected. And in the last Punnett square, all the way on the right, you see that the X-linked dominant affected father will have two daughters and both of his daughters will be affected. So this is where rule one comes from. In X-linked dominant, affected fathers will always pass on the disease to their daughters. So if it's an affected daughter, from an affected father, it's X-linked dominant. That is rule number one. Rule number two says that for X-linked recessive inheritance, affected sons get the disease from all affected mothers. And let's look at where this rule is derived from using the same Punnett square example. So in this example, I will show you the X-linked recessive affected mothers in green. And as we fill in these Punnett squares, I'll show you the affected sons shown in blue. In the first Punnett square on the left-hand side of this slide, what you see is that an X-linked recessive affected mother will have two affected sons. In both cases, the son is going to be affected. And in the Punnett square on the right, you'll see that the X-linked recessive affected mother will have two sons and both of them will be affected. So this is where rule number two comes from. Again, rule number two states that for X-linked recessive inheritance, 
all affected mothers will pass the disease on to their sons. So here are our two rules. And this is all you need to know to get the X-linked pedigrees right. Rule number one says that all affected fathers will give the disease to their affected daughters if it's X-linked dominant. And rule number two says that all affected mothers will give the disease to their affected sons if it's X-linked recessive. So this is my method for approaching these questions. If you memorize these two rules, then anytime you see a pedigree, all you need to do is apply these rules to see which one it is. So remember at the beginning of this lecture, I showed you two practice questions and they were two pedigrees. Well, let's put each of those pedigrees on top of this slide and use our rule one and rule two to figure out the problem. So this was practice question number one. It showed us a pedigree, and the question basically was saying, what is the mode of inheritance? So using our two rules, pause the video for a second and see if you can figure out if this is X-linked dominant or X-linked recessive. Pause the video if you need more time, but I'm going to explain this to you. So what you see on this pedigree is that you've got affected daughters coming from an affected father. So the affected father is shown as the colored in square, right? So color square means male and colored in means that it's affected. And it's giving three daughters that are all colored in, which means all of the daughters are affected. And they have two sons, but the sons are not colored in, so they're not affected. So the takeaway from this example is that you've got an affected father and a non-affected mother creating an, three affected daughters, but no affected sons. And because of this, this is rule number one. This is X linked dominant. Let's try our second example. So here's the second pedigree example that we had from earlier. Pause the video if you want to try to figure this one out. And if you're ready, here we go. So what you see on this slide is affected sons coming from an affected mother. So the affected mother is colored in and shown as the circle at the top. And they give rise to two affected sons that were both colored in, what you see here in blue but three daughters that are not affected. So because it's just the sons and it's coming from the affected mother, this is rule number two. It has to be X linked recessive. So again, just to summarize the really high yield takeaway of this video, when it comes to X linked inheritance specifically, all you need to do is figure out, is it the father or mother that is the affected parent? And are they creating daughters or sons that are the affected offspring? If you memorize rule one and rule two, you'll never get an X linked pedigree incorrect. And just to take this one step further and give you a mnemonic to help you memorize these two rules, all you need to memorize is FDD and MSR. So FDD is father, daughter, dominant, and MSR is mother, son, recessive. So if it's father to daughter, it's dominant. And if it's mother to son, it's recessive. And we're talking about X-linked. So FDD, MSR. So just say that a couple times fast to yourself and you'll never forget the rule. FDD, MSR. FDD, MSR. Father, daughter, dominant. Mother, son, recessive. Father, daughter, dominant. Mother, son, recessive. FDD, MSR. That's it, guys. That's my method for getting X-linked pedigrees. Super easy, very high yield, and awesome to use on test day.